In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a live stream using StreamYard. The first thing that you want to do is to be sure to go to your internet browser if you haven't downloaded that already, and be sure to open up StreamYard in Google Chrome. Don't open it up in Internet Explorer. I recommend Google Chrome. If you haven't downloaded that already, you can go and get that and download it as your internet browser. Secondly, you want to open up StreamYard. Now this is not a downloadable software. You run it online. And so if you don't have an account, you would do that down here where you would put in your email address and get a email that way. If you already have one, you want to go up here to log in. And so that's what we're going to do now because we already have an account. Log in. Next is going to ask you for your email so it can send you the six digit login code that will be next. And this will happen every time you get logged out of StreamYard. And so you want to think about, especially if you're a church, which person's email is it going to go to so that that person every time before the service, the Sunday morning service or whatever, you're going to be able to get this code and not have a problem contacting this person. So keep that in mind. All right, so you're going to go in and I'm going to send my email and I'm going to go get login code. And I am going to open up another window on my other monitor through my email. And I'm going to get my six digit code sent by StreamYard. I'm going to copy. I'm going to bring that back over here and I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to log in. Now you can see already as I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, already in the platform here that you have your broadcast button and then your destinations. Be sure that you have set some destinations already. You can see I have multiple ones here for my church and for my supplemental seminary page. I'm going to go to add a destination. And this is where you're going to add your destinations if you haven't already, where you'd like to stream yard or StreamYard, you like to stream to, I should say. And what you want to do here is you can go to Facebook, a Facebook page, which will be probably your church page that you set up. Then if you have a group, you want to do that here. Or if you want to stream from your profile, which would be your individual personal profile, you would choose this one. For a church, I'd recommend starting a Facebook page here. All right. Also, you can add YouTube channel and some of these others that I don't really fool with that I don't think is going to be something that we would use as churches, but here they are. Next, you're going to go to broadcast. And when we go to our broadcast, we are going to go, there's several things you can go over here. Of course, there's some information on this side about settings, but we're going to go to create a broadcast. So click on that. Next, your destinations will show up and which ones you would like to stream to. Now, if you have the free version of StreamYard, you can only stream to one location at a time. So keep that in mind. Now, if you upgrade, if you look in the description below, I have a coupon for $10 off if you would like to stream to two locations. So let's keep this simple and just say I'm going to stream to one location. I'm going to choose my YouTube supplemental seminary page as an example. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to give it a title. Now your title, no one else will see that. That is for your own benefit. So let's say Sunday, December the 13th, like you're setting up one for Sunday. And then you would go down. Now, when you get to the description, this will be what people actually see in the description on Facebook and YouTube. So I would copy and paste this from the top to be sure that they see it. And you could put something like, for example, morning worship service, and you could put the time. Ours is at 1030. Yours may be at 11, what have you. Get the idea. Now, there's some other things that you could put in here. Later, you can add, you know, be sure to give us a like, a share, comment, you know, get some engagement, that type of thing. Who's preaching? What's, you know, what's going to be in the service or anything that's special that you'd like to add in the description. Next, 
when it comes to privacy, we want to choose public. So when we launch it live, we want people to actually see it. And so be sure that that is set to public. You want to, in most cases, schedule for later. And I encourage you to do this, especially if you're setting up for the next service and set it up a day or an evening or that morning of the service or a couple hours before your Sunday night service or Wednesday night or special meeting, what have you. Now you do have a location here where you can choose a thumbnail image and this will be the image that they see on YouTube, Facebook, et cetera. If you go over to this question mark, it tells you the recommended size is 1280 by 720. I go over to a free resource. If you look in the description below, there is a resource I recommend, which is Canva. And I, I got an affiliate link in the description if you'd like to use it for free and maybe upgrade in the future to create thumbnails for StreamYard, YouTube, Facebook, and so forth, you have that option. So just for an example, I'm gonna go over here in my downloads, and I'm just gonna bring one in that I made that would be the right size. Here's one 1280 by 720, so we're gonna open that. And so you see it fits perfectly within the position and the size because I created it that way. And of course you can rotate it if it ends up being upside down or what have you. All right, let me turn that back up. And then I'm gonna hit apply. So now I have an image. I do encourage you to do that. It does add a whole lot more to it. That's another step. Next, you want to schedule a start time. And so let's put, for example, today, well, actually I have to go next Sunday. And let me change this because this is the 13th and I want to pretend like I'm doing one for next week. So I'm going to put 20. All right. And so we go in here to December the 20th. We want to choose a time. Let's just say most churches start at 11 o'clock. Be sure you put AM, all right, or PM, depending on your situation. <laughs> and then down here, create a broadcast. So once I click this button, it'll take it a few minutes or a few seconds, I should say. And it will create the stream it is scheduled. I would, people that are subscribed to me will get an alert for that. Then we want to go to Enter Broadcast Studio. Okay, now you can see I have my audio meters, which is good. And also I have my camera, which is my Logitech Brio webcam that I'm using as an example for StreamYard. All right, the display name and again, you can go in here and you make sure you, you choose your right camera, the one you want to use. And then also check your audio, make sure you're getting some meters, two or three, at least you're coming in good on that. This is kind of a downfall, in my opinion, of StreamYard. We need more information when it comes to the levels coming in. But as long, I found out if you got two or three dots, like you see I have right now, I'm good with audio. So once I'm done with that and hit close, your display name can be your name of your church, and I'm just going to put name of church, and you can take that off later. I'll show you how. Enter Broadcast Studio. Now, now you have this canvas, and there's nothing here. Oh, no, we're in trouble. There's nothing there. I'm going to show you how to add something. You need to go down here, and it says you're not part of the stream yet, and I need to hover over that, and it'll say add to stream. Now I have my image from my webcam, and I have my Audio, well, I don't see anything on here about my audio, so I need to go down here. This is so important. When you're streaming, you need to monitor your camera. Of course, you can see the video, but you can't hear. And so you need to go, well, you, there's some ways you can do that, but just to be simple in StreamYard, you need to go down to camera and mic and verify that you have sound. So you're gonna go into the cog, camera and mic, and go to audio, and you can see I'm getting a couple meters which is great. I don't mess with this part. I would leave that alone. You can play around with that later if you decide to. So we have our image. We're good. We have our audio. There is ways that you can add your screen in, a screen recording. I got two monitors and you can see I could choose one and add it to the stream. As you see, I'm coming through OBS. I can remove that. And so there's a couple options there. You can also invite people in, which would probably be more for a sit down, not really a church service. And then I can mute 
and unmute. Make sure these are unmuted. You can stop your mic, your microphone, your camera. So be sure those are unmuted. Next, let's move over to the right hand side. There is several things that I want to show you over there in this section. And this is where you'll be monitoring the live stream. The first thing that you need to be aware of is up here when it comes to editing, removing, viewing, and so forth. As we have that set, as it gets closer to your time, you'll see kind of a countdown. And then when you get ready to go live, whatever time, you can go early, and then it'll say show time. You can hit go live. And then at that point, you can see that you are live now on your destinations. And you see I have, it is counting up. And then you will see if people logged in, which I don't expect people to in this example, but it'll have a number over here letting you know the number of those who have signed in to the live stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and end that for now, end broadcast and then end broadcast again. Let me move myself to the other side of the screen so you can see all this. It's gonna ask you to the broadcast, end it, how it go. You can click good or bad. Send feedback, I just click those off the screen. Now, when you're in the live stream, the good thing about StreamYard is it will allow you to, at the bottom, monitor the comments coming in, and actually you can comment, which is great. I really like that feature, that it integrates all the chat. So I can go down here and say, uh, you know, good morning, church, family. And then this will post. And as a comment, they'll be seeing the comment section, whether YouTube or Facebook. I can hit show and that will show on the screen like this. I can remove it by hiding it. So that's a nice feature. All right, then we also can deal with people that are put user and timeout or block user if you have some haters out there, right? We haven't have a problem with that, but you, it, it could happen at any time. Next is banners. There's different banners that you can add, such as this, that you can amend, you can hide those, you can bring them back on the screen, you can edit them, you can click this button and create a, what we call a ticker. Let me show that and it'll go across the bottom. Okay, you can take that on or off, you can set multiple ones as you see here. I edit that, I take it off the ticker and then I put it back on the screen and it's like an overlay there. These are banners, they call them. So there's a lot of things that you can do there. You can take them off easily. Next is your brand. I can put a logo at the top, as you see here, my logo. And then if you have the free version, it will show this watermark powered by StreamYard. That's not really gonna bother people, I don't think, in my opinion. But if you want that removed, you can upgrade to the next one, the next tier, and the paid version and you can have the power to remove that watermark and then add your own logo in the top right corner. Next is some overlays. You can put some pictures on, as you can see here. This is an overlay. You can do these little video clips that you can add in, different video clips, little countdowns, such as this one. It has some music. I'm not sure if you can or cannot hear that. And the background, you can change the background. You'll see the background if we use another angle, such as these down here. If I share my screen, this is the background. Let's see, let me change it again. Back here, we see the leaves. All right, these are different multiple angles. And this can come in handy if the pastor has a PowerPoint. You know, his PowerPoint could be here, and then his image could be here, and then you could put another background image there. So there's a couple. I've done it by sharing my screen, by the way. You have to add that to the screen. You can do guest and then to my main camera. Next, if it goes to display names, that's found down here under brand. You can disable that name of church, take it off, put it back on. Next is a private chat. If you have other people that is guest you've brought in here that can watch, uh, you don't have to add them to the stream. Maybe they just want to be added in. You send them a link by inviting people down here and then you can send them a Gmail, email, or Facebook Messenger, and then send people the link. All right, and add friends into the stream if you decide to do that. And then we have our settings. 
be sure that in this one, we have high definition 720p when we're streaming. You want at least that. That is the max that you can without upgrading. 1080p will cost you the next tier up. Again, I got my audio set. You can do green screen or guest. These are some things that you may want to look at. Other than that, it's pretty simple. When you're done with your stream, you can hit in stream and then return to the dashboard and you will see the example that we just created here. You can go in, you can delete that, which I will as an example. And so that's just about it. Got other examples in here as well. And then you can see your past broadcast and how long they were and so forth. So trust this tutorial was a help to you. If you found value, be sure to give me a like, a share, a comment below. If you have any questions, please let me know. This is David Toller with Supplemental Seminary and Let's get the gospel out. Let's remember faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so they got to be able to hear you and trust also that video. They'll be able to see you. All right. God bless you. We'll see you in the next tutorial.